Hello, it's Michelle Eaton here. In this video, we're going to look at a quick and easy way to create a nice looking header for your website. We're going to use a program called Xheader. If you look below this video, you'll see a link that will take you to the site. So let's go and have a look. So here we are at the Xheader web page. Come down to the bottom, click here to download, fill in our details, and submit. And then we get an offer for 5,000 headers for $37. I have done that myself on my other computer, um, but just for now, just so we can look at the free ones, we'll click no thank you. And now we can click on the download. No button. So it's just downloading on the bottom left here. So now that's done. We double click that and run through the wizard. Accept the license agreement. Click next. 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 And install. So when the installation's finished, we get the option to launch the program file and view the on online video tutorial and let me click finish and we'll have a look. These details are actually emailed to you with confirmation that you've signed up and and also the link to the tutorials and as you can see on their home page the tutorial link is up there. I'm not going to play them now, they're seven minutes each, really useful so I definitely would advise it. If we look to the bottom of my screen now, we can see Xheader has been launched. And now you'll notice that the price for the Pro version has gone up from $37 to $47. Uh, it does include 5,000 header graphics, so there is a huge choice. If you do think you, you want a huge choice of header graphics, then it, it would be best to actually purchase that at the point of signing up so that you save yourself ten dollars but for now I'm going to click no thanks and here we are in the X header software so we're going to come over to new I'm going to load a template from the library now all our categories are on the left here so you're in the car trade, for example, you could choose a ready-made template from here. And what you'd need to do, what you need to check before you go any further, is that you know what size header you need. So, in my case, if we come down to our WordPress dashboard, plan to appearance, and header, we can see that our header needs to be 940 by 188. So we'll come back over to X header and we come up to options, resize header. So we want 940 by 188. Click OK and the header is resized. You only a small change so that the image is fine. Sometimes if you're making a large change, um, for instance if you were making um, a Facebook timeline cover, then it would some of the images would be stretched too far to, to look right. So do check your sizes before you go too far into designing it. And then very simply, we'll just put some text on. Your company name. Um, obviously we can't see it because the text is back black, so let's change that to antique white and we'll change the font to impact and we'll change the size to 36 we'll put an outline fill on that it's always a good idea to pick up pick out a colour that complements another colour in here uh, so I think I'm going to go for Goldy type colour. A 
golden rod. It looks about the best. Okay, that. Put some more text in. So we'll click the text box, click in, into the screen, uh, and we'll change the font Gabriella. And then we'll type in our company address. Make that a bit smaller. Those are a little big, so I'm going to change. So I click on each one. And then one more. So you can see we can um, simply add text um, and that, that, that would be fine as it, as it is to be honest. It looks clean and professional and that's just a quick example for you. Now I'm going to go to do a new one. So let's imagine that you've looked through all the categories and you haven't found one that, that is really suitable. Um, in that case, the best thing to do would be to use one of the design and graphics templates as they, um, obviously it can be customised however you want. So I'm going to choose this one and obviously it's not got an image on it and it would look good with an image. Now, I've got an image that I'm going to use, it's not brilliant, but it is a real photograph um, that, that I took myself. So let's pop that in. Now as you can see that clips the edge so let's make that a little smaller. And I've took the background out of this image. Move the arrow keys. So move it around. And then what I'm going to do because it isn't because it's not a perfect image I'm going to increase the transparency so that it blends in a little bit better and then we're going to put our text in and we're going to use Tahoma try that at 28 and we'll put in your company name and we'll bold that and let's put a chisel and for the background of the chisel effect I'm going to take browns because there is some brown in this image sienna okay and then we're going to put in the address Choose Mango eighteen and we're going to choose come up to dark colours oh, grey. Since found if I control C that on my keyboard and then control V, 
don't have to type it all in again. And control V again. And then the phone number. the antique white and this time we'll put a shadow on that one the shadow being black and we'll change the size of that one to 22 so again that that would be fine that, that would look quite nice um, but it was just an example to show you the techniques really that you can use so that's that one. Now I'm going to go and select a new one. And again, we load from the template library. So now I'm going to look in the beauty category. And although they don't really seem specific to hairdressers, I think I'm going to choose this one. And I get this message um, to ask if I want to save my previous image, which I don't. So I'm going to press no. So we'll start with some text. And at the moment this is a fictitious salon, so... That font is MEN. And the fonts that you get on here are actually the fonts that are on your system. So you can scroll through, give it highlighted and use your arrow key on your keyboard. Scroll through, I quite like that one. I think for a hair salon you can go for more of an artistic font but you do need to be careful that it's readable. If you're in doubt go for the uh, simpler, cleaner styles. I'm going to stick with a mere nothing. I'm going to put a shadow on that. I'm going to change, it's a bit difficult to read, so I'm going to change that to sharp. Yeah, I think that could be better. And then we'll do some more text. Change the style of some of these, I think. So, I think I'm going to leave it at that for now. You get the idea of um, how creative you can be. Most important, keep it, keep it simple and keep it readable. And I think that will do me for now. So, what I'll do is I'm going to select Save As. And I'm going to save it as a PNG. If you've got anything with transparency on it, it needs PNG anyway. Um, but also the, the files um, are slightly better quality. So I'm going to select PNG. And then I'm going to call it my WordPress header. Saved it in my header folder. So PNG. So save. I've just realised that I haven't resized the header on my WordPress header side. Let's go back up to options, resize header, 940 by 188. Ah, that's, that's not bad. Need to move our text here. Move that out of the way so I can move the first one. There we go. Let's save that again. I'll overwrite the one we saved. There we go. Now that's been resaved, let's come over to our WordPress site, into the dashboard, appearance, and header. 
and we're going to choose file, favorites, desktop, my headers folder and there's a WordPress header. Open that. Upload. Save the changes. Let's visit our site. So that looks quite nice. Let's come back to our dashboard and try it with another sub theme. So if we come down to appearance, Weaver to admin, let's try it with one of these. Try it with the orange sub theme. And then we'll take a look at the site. So that looks quite different. Quite nice. And let's try one more. Back to the dashboard. Appearance. Weaver to admin. Let's try it with something completely different. Like the reds. Select reds, set to selected sub theme, and we'll come back up and visit the site. That one looks totally different. I quite like that one. Um, so, as you can see, by changing your header, changing your sub theme, you can totally transform the look of your site. Don't overcomplicate it, keep it simple. All these things can be changed later. In a future video, I'll be showing you where you can find some really nice graphics to further customise and make it totally sort of different from, from anything else out there. But this is really a good head start to get a nice looking website up quickly. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll speak to you soon.